good morning dear student in previous lecture we already discuss the enzyme substrate complex formation and how this enzyme it increases the rate of the reaction by decreasing the activation energy so in today's lecture we are very much interested in the next topic that is enzyme specificity so we know that enzymes are very specific in their action and different types of specificity are observed in the enzyme let us discuss one by one the first one that is your reaction specificity okay so these enzymes are very specific in their action these enzymes are uh, very specific in their action for example the enzyme esterase it catalyzes the hydrolysis reaction of ester only hydrolysis of ester only so we are very much familiar with this hydrolysis reaction of ester so this enzyme that is esterase it catalyzes only the hydrolysis of ester only the hydrolysis of ester okay so this is called reaction specificity so these enzymes are specific in their action it catalyzes only the hydrolysis of ester okay and therefore it is considered as a reaction specificity okay the uh, specificity of this enzyme it is considered as a reaction specificity so only one kind of reaction it will uh, we can say that only uh, the hydrolysis reaction of ester uh, which can be performed by using this enzyme okay so ester is it will convert the ester into uh, after hydrolysis it will gives your alcohol plus acid alcohol plus acid so only this reaction can be performed with the help of this esterase so it catalyzes the hydrolysis of ester only the second uh, specificity that is your substrate specificity some uh, enzymes okay catalyze the reaction of single substrate only so they catalyze the reaction of single substrate only for example the enzyme that is urease okay u r e a yes urease it act only on the urea to produce uh, the ammonia and co2 okay so this substrate specificity it is also known as absolute stereospecificity so this enzyme catalyzes the reaction of single substrate okay uh, catalyzes the reaction of single substrate only for example the enzyme urease act only on the urea to produce ammonia and co2 so it does not react with any other substrate so it will react with only this urea and the urea which is undergo hydrolysis reaction to forms ammonia and co2 so this is the substrate specificity okay only urea it will interact with your substrate that is urea okay again one more example is that enzymes carbonic anhydrase so this is the first example that is urease it will convert this urea into the ammonia and co2 the second example is that the enzyme carbonic anhydrase that is enzyme carbonic anhydrase the enzyme carbonic anhydrase it will bring about it will bring about the union of carbon dioxide and water molecule to form carbonic acid so this is the reaction that is h2o plus co2 so there is a formation of h2co3 carbonic acid in presence of the enzyme carbonic anhydrase so we are very much familiar with this carbonic anhydrase okay different enzymes is there so at least you should know uh, the specificity reaction substrate okay stereo specificity and you should know the role of the enzyme that is urease it is used for hydrolysis of urea then this carbonic anhydrase it is used for formation of carbonic acid by the union of water molecules and co2 okay carbonic anhydrase so this is the example of substrate specificity example of substrate specificity let us discuss the third one that is your stereo specificity so let us discuss the third type of specificity that is your stereo stereo specificity stereo specificity so we are very much familiar with stereo chemistry okay 
स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ द स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्रीज इन द सबस्ट्रेट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिक डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिसिटीज आर ऑब्जर्व इन द एंजाइम्स ओके सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ द स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री प्रेजेंट इन द सबस्ट्रेट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी आर ऑब्जर्व इन द एंजाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज यूर ऑप्टिकल ऑप्टिकल स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी ऑप्टिकल स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी ऑप्टिकल स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी सो वट इज दिस ऑप्टिकल स्टीरियो स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी सर्टन एंजाइम्स कैन बाइंड ओनली वन इनशोमर और डायस्टेरियोमर्स सो वी कंसिडर दिस ऑप्टिकल स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी सम एंजाइम्स सो इफ यू सी द फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज द एंजाइम्स ओके एंजाइम्स बाइंड्स ओनली बाइंड्स ओनली वन इनशोमर वन इनशोमर और डायस्टेरियमस डायस्टेरियम सो इट विल इंटरेक्ट ओनली वन इनशोमर और डायस्टेरियमस सच अ स्टेरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी इट इज टर्म एज ऑप्टिकल स्टेरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी ओके सो वट इज दिस ऑप्टिकल स्टेरियो स्पेसिफिसिटी सर्टन इंसाइम्स कैन बाइंड ओनली वन इनशोमर All diastereomers, such as stereospecificity, it is considered as an optical stereospecificity. For example, the best example of this optical stereospecificity is that the enzyme. The best example it is enzyme trypsin. The enzyme trypsin, uh, it hydrolyzing the polypeptide chain of L amino acid. Okay, so what is the function of this uh, enzyme trypsin? It hydrolyzes, hydrolyzes polypeptide chain, polypeptide chain, polypeptide chain of L amino acid, of L amino acid. it will hydrolyze the polypeptide chain of l amino acid only but not those consisting of d amino acid okay so you should keep in mind so this is your stereo specificity so we already discussed what is d amino acid what is l amino acid so what is the function of this enzyme trypsin it hydrolyze the polypeptide chain okay so the hydrolysis of the peptide bond by using the enzyme trypsin okay but it hydrolyzes the polypeptide chain of l amino acid only so it does not hydrolyze uh, the amino acid uh, it does not hydrolyze the polypeptide chain containing the d amino acid d amino acid so this is your polypeptide this is your polypeptide which is on hydrolysis okay in presence of trypsin which is on hydrolysis in presence of trypsin we get the mixture of l amino acid mixture of l amino acid l amino acid so we already discuss uh, what is d and what is l amino acid so this d and l uh, nomenclature totally depend upon the position of uh, the amino group in the amino acid okay so we already discuss uh, what is d and what is l so at least you should know the stereo specificity the best example is your trypsin so it hydrolyzes only the polypeptide chain containing l amino acid not d amino acid okay so this is the optical stereo specificity let us discuss the second type of stereo specificity that is your geometrical stereo specificity second one that is your geometrical stereo specificity geometrical stereo specificity so if you consider the geometrical stereo specificity some enzymes are binds the trans isomer of alkene but not with cis isomer so this is the 
it is very simple that is some enzymes binds only trans isomer of alkene some enzyme binds only trans isomer of alkene of alkene but but not with cis isomer but not with cis isomer so this is your stereo specificity okay one stereo isomer that is only trans isomer it will uh, interact with your enzyme but not with cis or the enzymes only binds with trans isomer not with cis isomer and the example that is uh, the example of this enzyme such a kind of enzyme that is your fumarase enzyme fumarase f u m a r a s fumarase so it will binds only fumaric acid it will binds only fumaric acid and fumaric acid we know that it is a trans isomer fumaric acid it is an trans isomer that is this is double bond coh group is there coh group is there so this is your fumaric acid and this fumarates in presence of water fumarates in presence of water uh, it will convert this carbon carbon double bond into a single bond okay so this is your h h c o h group is there c o h group is there h and o h group is there okay so we get uh we get two hydroxy succinic acid two hydroxy succinic acid so this fumarase gives uh, uh which gives the reaction with only trans isomer and convert this fumaric acid the trans isomer into two hydroxy succinic acid in presence of cis isomer it does not show any reaction so in presence of cis isomer it does not give any product in presence of cis isomer it does not give any product so this is all about the enzyme specificity in the next lecture we will discuss the effect of ph effect of temperature effect of concentration on the rate of the enzyme substrate reaction thank you